Okay, let's go ahead and track this down a little bit more, this idea. And I like how the MLA inside their manual has this kind of graphic they can show you. Let's take a look at this graphic for a moment. And this is the graphic we looked at the beginning, right? So we've got at the top author, then title. And it shows you very nicely, period here, period here, comma, comma. I really think this is a very useful graphic to give you that rule of thumb how to do things, ending with a period. That's really nice. So what they're saying here is that this bit here, this piece here, this is the author and the title of the source. And then this next bit here, this is the container that it's inside of. So your article may be inside of a journal. But that container could be inside of something else, another container. So for example, you could have an article, your article is inside of a journal, and your journal comes from a publisher. Or your journal could come from another container, such as JSTOR, that's the database you got it from. So what MLA is telling us with this kind of graphic is, the more information you can put in for each one of these spaces, the better. The more that you can explain where is this from, the better. Do you need to fill them all out? No. Sometimes you don't have that information, or sometimes you don't. it's not relevant. For example, there could be a journal, and the journal could have a publisher, but the publisher is not inside of a specific database, so there's not a second container. But that's okay. You need to fill out as many as you can. That's the idea. So for example, the Georgia Review is a journal, in this example, but it's contained inside of a database called the JSTOR database. So we can add JSTOR. So here we've got this bit here, JSTOR is actually included over here. So in this example, Goldman and Questions of Transport reading the Primo Levy reading Dante, the Georgia Review, volume 64, number one, 2010, pages 69 to 88, inside JSTOR. So right there, this period here is this period here. That is author, source, the container, over. Usually we'd end there, but you could have more. How would you have more? You have a second container. And what do you do at the end of that second container? You have a period, and in between everything else is comma. You have to have all of these different things, like v versions and numbers and volumes. No, you don't have to have them all. But if you have some, then you add them. So there we go. We go ahead and add the web address. Okay, container nested inside of a, a container. Again, let's look at this example. So here we have this nice MLA graphic. Then we're going to say, Under the Gun, Pretty Little Liars, Season 4, Episode 6, ABC Family, 16 of July, 2013. So this here is another kind of interesting case of we don't have an author. What we do have is the name of a TV show, or actually this is an episode. It's inside a TV show called Pretty Little Liars. It, it appeared on... Season 4, Episode 6, because they have seasons and the episodes. The publisher is ABC Family, and this was the day that it aired. And here we have another special little thing here, which is cool. Hulu. Hulu is an online service like Netflix. Hmm, that's a good little example. So we don't have a name of a director or an author, but rather what we have is the episode, quotation marks, and it is a broadcast. This little word here is telling us what it is. It's a broadcast, a television show. And it was in 2013. This is an episode of Pretty Little Liars, and it was on Netflix. Okay, that's a lot of good information. How do we write it? Here we go. Under the Gun, quotation, Pretty Little Liars is the name of the series. It was inside Season 4, Episode 6. The producer or the publisher, 
in video we call producer, ABC Family. And when did it come out? 2013, but specifically 16th of July. So day, month, year. And then container number two. Container number two is Netflix, and here's the address. And this is this really great idea of one container, bigger container, bigger container. You can keep doing it bigger and bigger. Usually for most of our references, it's just going to be the article inside the journal. And that's it. For a book, it would be the chapter inside the book inside of a publisher. In this case, it's a episode of a TV program inside of a TV program, a series, and that's inside of the production of ABC Family.